Hello everyone and welcome back to Bacon Plays Transport Fever. We're down here over by Irving. Just checking out this little train. It's been a few months in game time since I left off. Mostly because I've been working on how to get this train track to be some semblance of profitable. And this was 100,000 in the red. So to get it to 10,000 in the red means we're in the definitely right direction. I just uh, took off some of the carts and made it wait for full load at this station. It seems to be doing just fine. Hasn't flooded Irving with food too much. Although, I've noticed that trains coming out of this station aren't carrying full loads of food. Like this one is only taking 11 when it took, could take 21. I think that has more to do with just how much food we've saturated in Detroit that it really doesn't have the same demand for food like it used to. And also, this station is full of grain, grain that's never going to be shipped, but so long as it has enough livestock to fill every car, I don't care. That's all I care about. Other than that, we are, for the most part, in the green. Everything we're doing is making money and making enough money to justify its existence beyond just making money in a, a balance sheet. So it's May. I have a $4 million loan, meaning I can take out $6 million, I believe. How about we pause things up? Because I'm thinking about making that oil run. Starting from here to there, starting from, what is this, Bakersfield? No, it's Austin Oil Well to High Point Oil Refinery to Bakersfield. Huh. Three different cities, zones, all commingling into one. Alright, let's start with some terminal station, make sure it's for freight. And, yeah, terminal station. Death. That's all right, right for right now. Uh, I don't think this needs to be a through station. Hmm. Although I might want it to be. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Back over this. Huh. What is that connected? Just that. Again, the distance between the oil well and this refinery matters less than the distance between the oil and the town, the primary product and the end product, because that's the distance that there's going to be nothing on the cars. So a bit of a turn here wouldn't be the worst thing. Other than that, you know, I probably want this to be two layers. Although if it's just going to be a single track for right now, it's fine. Terminal station. Race station, yes, but this one I want to have too. Coming up and around from here, heading to high point. I mean, it's gonna basically go right to the slope, one, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever we put in here is gonna have quite the quite the time trying to get out of here. I mean, hell, even the road is absorbed by the hill right there. Okay, let's see, how close can we get to this thing? Oh geez, we gotta get close. Uh, looks like that might be the best I can do. Gonna be quite the trial to get up here for any train, especially those Baldwins, and freight station. Oil is used by what? Fuel is used in industry. So, ah, perfect. The industry center is right in our way. So coming off from there, following the curve lines best we can, Probably around this forested area. Terminating. 
in prop. Uh, probably just needs one. How much of the town can we get from this? Putting it over here probably be our best bet. And bet. Alright, let's try to hook this up now. <laughs> really slice and throw, ain't it? Going trying to go through that. Well, it's not gonna work. So, if we take this and start the turn immediately. Seems to work fine. Just for that second. It, it, gonna have to work. Connect it. Up. Around this hill, best we can. Then I'm probably gonna need to bar my first loan again. And take it into town. Bam. And the second track's gonna have to fall. Shouldn't be quite as expensive, but still gonna be decently expensive. More than I would actually like to pay. About there. And nice and gentle into the station. Alright, and as always. Stop him. Stop him right there. Some tracks to keep people honest. What I'm really interested in seeing is how am I going to do this? <laughs> it wants a bridge. It wants to make a bridge. Well, okay. Will take a million to do that. Okay. Hmm. This won't let me take it down gentle, will it? No. What if I raised the terrain around here? That's probably just making it worse. Yep, something like this. Come out with it. Something like that. I suppose the main problem is it goes down as quickly as we can make it fall. So it's not until it hits this area that we can actually do much about it. Not until we can straighten it out that we can actually do anything. Well, let's see. What if I start at this end? It's a road for most of the way. What about a stone bridge? How much would this be? Not too bad. Not too expensive. Wooden bridge would be less, but also be very slow. Steel bridge would be the very best. Especially if we want to keep our speed. However, speed isn't really that important to us at the moment. Not with the trains that we have right now. However, I do have to double it up.
Back to good old easy roads. Um, train tracks. Nice, nice, nice. Some simple signage. Stop running right on this side. Go on that road, go on that road. Not a road, but get the idea. This is the most crooked angle, but it'll work. Probably even this back up. Yeah, yeah. Make it look nice. Make it look nice. Oh, that's rather interesting. Now then. If I would have put the tr got three park gate, borrow some more yeah, rail. If I were to put a station just down here, I suppose this isn't a station, now is it? Put that down there for now. What does it look like? I have one train depot. My train. We have 500 gate. Buy this. By one, two, three. Set line, new line, line one, add a station. This, no, fuck. Add a station. This station. Bakersfield East, Bakersfield Halt, and High Point South. Wait, no, that's not the order I want them in. Why don't you go from Bakersfield East? That station. To High Point South. Then to the town. Kind of in the reverse order, but you know, that's how things go. Taking crude oil. Train one. Set line, line one. Crude oil. Might as well check on my other lines. I've gone, I think I took on 2.5 million in debt more than I was before. Yeah, it's right there. 2.65 million. Hope you guys can't hear me guzzling this water. Okay, stopped here for a second. He's like, oh, I, I stopped here. This is what I was meant to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, the line looks perfectly fine for right now. Could use some um, more of these signs. At the moment, we're just going to let this one train go, because I need I need everything on the line to know that it is on a line. You're connected. You're connected. And you've got a... You have a decent portion, if not the majority, of... Yes. You have a good portion of this town connected to you. You know, bring this out for a second. Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uninterested? Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, it's here if you want. If it's here if you want town. Town, if you're interested, you can just hook that up, please. Alright, let's check out our line situation. Irving Food starting to make us a little bit of money, more, starting to make us more money than it'll take off when it uh, goes red, so that should be fine. When it cost is added on, uh, it seems to be starting to maybe oversaturate Irving with its food, but that'll be fine. They'll go through it. Uh, how about Detroit? Good. When it comes to shopping facilities, one other thing I can do is perhaps start bringing in other people to shop here. Start getting taxi services going out to, I suppose, Cedar Rapids, going out to... Huh. 
Yeah. Well then, looks like Cedar Rapids is actually the only connection to Detroit. Everything else is a dead end unless I want to put it in the roads. Suppose for this area, Waco is more of a central hub of commerce. Because it's connected to Inglewood, Cedar Rapids, and Fort Lauderdale. And Fort Lauderdale is connected to Waco and St. Paul, while Detroit is mostly a dead end. Interesting. We set up at a dead end. How's your production doing? Your production is just off the charts. Jeez. Why? It's, it's not even being produced over here at the food. Actually, it is. Holy shit. Production to upgrade. But there's nowhere to put it! Huh. It's actually going through the, uh... store food pretty well. That's rather surprising. So it's staying at 1.4 million every year. With that kind of money, I can repay my loan in how long? Off that one line alone, I might be able to repay my loan in, say, that's basically one and a half million. Huh. I suppose maybe seven years if it was that line alone. I mean, there's all there's also these smaller lines that do help a little. Not much, though. This is the line. This oil line is what I'm really interested in, though. It will be black for oil, or maybe red for fuel. Baker's Field. Oh, FFDV. Baker's Field. Let's start with our F. Our F. Baker's Field. Fuel. Yeah, that's it. That is what you will be named. Alright, when he gets there... Line production, no. So you don't know that you're in a line yet. But you should be. Also, what would it look like for a car to drive up this bank? It's coming into the station either way. Let's see what it does. Okay, arrived at the last station. Our testing train has arrived. Come on, back now. Still doesn't know that. Might Nick might need a second pass. This is why you let a testing train go through if you're not sure it's going to work immediately. Like, this is still a fair distance that it has to travel without picking up anything. It's about actually... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think this to here is actually a shorter distance than to Bakersfield, which is unfortunate. Oh, wait. We got fuel. We got fuel on the line. I think... You know what? Let's go cinematic. I want to. I want to see what it's like to go down this train. Oh, it's so pretty. That's a nice, gentle slope down. I'm gonna need to upgrade it though for higher speed, higher trains at higher speeds later. But at the moment, it's just nice. So then, it'll come in. It'll dump off its load, but then it'll leave, leaving this to produce. I thought it, my thinking is, we wait until this is done and put another train on the line. Then we end this episode, because it's getting to 20 minutes. You know that you're on the line, good. Then do something about it, huh? Oh, you're st oh, you're storing up the wrong product, you little bitch. Either way, let's make. Sh I suppose the best place to put it would be when he gets to Bakersfield. So then he would be exactly as far apart as you could possibly get. 
also gives me a little bit of time to make the money. One, two, borrow, three, four. Pretty close. Set line, fix field two. I really don't like how the game is programmed where the first product in the line will be made first regardless of what the line needs. I mean it's if you take it's why this is oh god that's a lot of moo-moos. But either way this is why there was so much grain on this line before because you couldn't take it in all the way. But just jeez. Like see this was scheduled for an upgrade but I just couldn't keep up. Cause I'm pretty sure we're no, not here. Pretty sure we're just taking too much to handle. Irving, how are you how are you holding up, Irving? Really need to stop putting Irving. Really need to stop putting bus stops right over the name. It's getting annoying. Now Irving thinks Irving seems to be doing fine. Your production is half which it could be. Your production is half what it could be. Yeah, well, there's not enough potential in my mind. Just stay where you are. Potential, yeah, potential is only 410. So just slow your roll. No potential. This guy's coming back with a full load of crude oil. Hopefully now you'll get the idea that you're supposed to be producing fuel. We got train one and train two coming into station. Just wasting my money at the moment, but that's what happens. Gonna produce some fuel yet? Huh? Like it even knows that this is what the consumers need. And yet it makes oil. Why? Either way, I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later on. Bye bye.